Yo, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Friday content. This is the last content drop on a Friday before we start seeing 99s, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the 97s that we just got, that just got dropped and everything that got dropped on this Friday and talk about it a little bit, all right? Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and get into it uh, with the uh, programs that got dropped today, which is season award six, okay? And uh, we got a 92 overall, uh, Anthony Maldonado, slider, sinker, cutter, starting pitcher. That's not going to work. I'm sorry, but as a starter, 57 stamina. I mean, why don't they just make him a reliever? You know, maybe he, he could have worked maybe as a reliever. doesn't have a change up or anything, but with the sinker, cutter, slider combo, could have maybe worked, but that's definitely not going to work as a starter. Paven Smith, 92 overall. Uh, he's got... 84, 86 versus right, 95, 100 versus left, 104 clutch. I mean, not a bad card for a 92 overall, but, you know, it's just not going to play. Next, we have Mark Vientos, uh, third base with first base and shortstop secondary. That's interesting. And 49 speed, that's probably not going to go well at shortstop, but he does have the secondary there. Uh, with that being said, though, he does have 86, 92 versus right, 96, 99 versus left, 108 clutch. That's nice clutch. Um, 79 vision, 49 speed, not going to fit the Arenado or Buxton boost. Definitely not the Santana boost or the Kershaw boost. So what you see is what you got. Not a bad 92 overall card, but again, just not a card that's going to play. Uh, 92 overall, Pete Crow Armstrong, left field, right field secondary, center field primary, left-handed hitter, will fit Kershaw boost. However, he has 99 speed, so no Arenado boost, semi-vision, no Buxton boost, definitely no Santana boost. He's a left-handed hitter. Very bad hitting numbers, though. 87, 72, 82, 70, 92 clutch. Yeah, he's a great fielder with great speed, but that's definitely... Most definitely not playing. And then last but not least, it is uh, Anthony Rizzo, 96 overall. He had his 300th career home run. So they gave him a season awards card. Uh, 105, 101 versus right. 93, 87 versus left. 101 clutch, 81 fielding, 14 speed. Arenado boost is there for us. Uh, 93 vision, no bucks and boost, but he also will get a Kershaw boost as well. So you can double boost him with the Kershaw and Arenado boost. And he's going to look pretty damn good depending on what tier you're using. So definitely an interesting card, especially Rizzo. Uh, has a nice little swing on him. So not bad for a free card at all. Another thing they did is they finally added a choice pack of season awards. And uh, you go from drops one through five. So that's very nice to see that they added that. Uh, people have been complaining they hadn't been adding that into programs. And they finally added one into season awards six. So that's nice to see. Next, we're going to talk about the packs that were dropped in the, um, the packs that were dropped in the show shop. Uh, first, you got your Show Classics pack number three, okay? Uh, let's start off by the lower overall cards, 93 overall, Hobie Milner. Uh, we saw him last year. Nice little card here. Left-handed pitcher is going to get the Kershaw boost. And uh, he's got some good per nines, man. 120 hit per nine, 87K per nine isn't the greatest, but 107 pitch clutch is pretty good. 108 walks per nine, and then 94 control. Going to have nice control, nice par. Slurve, sinker, four-seam circle change, and has a funky delivery because he does throw submarine. I mean, sidearm submarine-ish, however you want to call it. Again, great pitch control and good break on his pitches. So a good car to add to your bullpen for sure, especially being a left-handed pitcher will help the Arenado, or not the Arenado, but the Kershaw boost. Next is Tyler Stevenson, 93 overall. Uh, 115, 76 versus right, 93, 90 versus left. So more, a lot more contact against righties, uh, but more power against lefties. 112 clutch is nice as well. Uh, that's pretty, pretty high for a 93 overall card. 85 vision, so no Buxton boost there. Um, and then he's going to have 72 fielding with 42 speed, so he fits the Arenado boost. Um, however, he's not going to fit, obviously, the Kershaw or Santana boost because he is a right-handed hitter. But does fit the Arenado boost, so that's good to see. Uh, Sixto Sanchez. Man, this is a flashback at its finest, right? We haven't had a Sixto in a long time because he just hasn't pitched until this year. But uh, change of sinker, four-seam slider, curveball mix. Um, outlier on the sinker, of course. Uh, 98, uh, 98 stamina, 86 hit per nine. That's low, and so is the pitching clutch. He's just not going to play, in my opinion. Uh, too low hit per nines and whatnot, especially when we're going to have 99 dropping next week. Trent Grisham, this is was a fan favorite for sure. Uh, has a nice, sweet swing. You know he's going to fit the Kershaw boost with that left-handed bat. Um, 86 contact versus right, 98 power versus right, and then 90 contact versus left with 85 power versus left. One, or sorry, 66 clutch. That is just not going to play. What did they do to this card, man? That's just not good. He has a great swing, but the attributes are not going to be good. I mean, he has elite fielding at 99 and elite speed at 95. That's what's making his card such a high overall. It's just fluff attributes, to be honest. 
because his hitting is not good at all, man. Disappointing. Very disappointing because this is a fan favorite because his swing is elite always. Bobby Miller, 104 hit per nine, 98 K per nine with 98 pitch clutch. Uh, so not terrible on any of that. He's going to have outlier on the four seamer. Uh, so he's going to throw gas. He's got the, you know, four seam slider, splitter, sinker, curveball combo. Uh, not very high stamina. Oh, not very good pitch control either, but the pitch break is pretty good. So is he a viable option? Yeah. And I just realized he does. He's just going to get the Kershaw boost because he has, he is a left-handed bat. We'll get the Kershaw boost so it can boost up, you know, hit per nine and whatnot. But, uh, you know, he is going to have... You are going to have a tougher time to control him for sure. Next is Yoan Moncada, Future Stars, flashback switch hitter. So he's going to fit the Santana boost, of course. Uh, 71 vision, 85 speed. So no Arenado boost, no Buxton boost. And not a left-handed thrower. So he's not going to fit the Kershaw boost. However, 107-99 versus right. Very damn good. 85-89 versus left. That's where he lacks the contact versus lefties. Uh, 96 clutch isn't bad at all. And again, if you are using the Santana boost at, you know, tier two, you're going to get plus eight contact versus both and plus uh, five clutch. Or even if you're using a tier three, you're going to get plus 12 contact versus both and then plus 10 clutch. So that's, you know, using that tier three, tier two boost of Santana will make him very damn good. And then last but not least, Jesse Winker. This card is insane, man. I was looking at it before I started recording, and he is insane. He's only got pinch hitter quirk, but man, look at this card. Left field primary, center field, right field secondaries. Not going to want to put him in the outfield, though. 26 speed, that's not going to play. However, he can get the Arenado boost and the Kershaw boost together uh, because he does have uh, you know, left-handed left bat and then that speed being so low. Now, 121, 125 without... Any parallels, 109, 110 without any parallels. That's crazy with 100 clutch. I mean, the clutch is a little low, but it's still very good in my opinion, especially Winker has a really nice swing. Um, you know, he's going to be insane. If you get the, get him any type of boost, especially, uh, you know, the Kershaw and Arenado boost together. I mean, you could probably get that clutch, if not 125, close to it. Uh, you know, the contact versus lefties, you can get that up. Plus 10 if you're running a uh, tier three Kershaw boost. And then if you're running the um if you're running the Arenado boost, you're gonna get plus on the power side of things, you know, plus 10 power for tier two, tier three, plus 15. I mean, you could almost get this car 125 across the board. You did everything correctly. That'd be absolutely insane. Very, very good card here in Jesse Winker for sure. Uh could match up with 99, the 99s that are coming out next week. Then they also dropped a new chase pack. Well, first let's talk. They obviously dropped a new headliners pack. Brooks Lee, switch hitting prospect. This card is disgusting. Shortstop primary, second base, third base, secondaries. Uh, 117, 98 versus right. 101, 82 versus left. The only thing he's really lacking is that power against lefties. But even then, it's not terrible at all. Uh, 109 clutch. That's also very good. Uh, 81 fielding, 86 arm, 85 reaction with 72 speed. So he could play a decent shortstop. Um, you know, he's going to play gold defense. He's got decent speed. He is six foot two, so can cover a little bit of ground. But in my opinion, he'd probably be better suited for second base and third base. But yeah, man, using the Santana boost is going to make him very damn good. If you use it at tier two, you're going to get that plus five contact versus righties. Uh, you know, or sorry, plus eight contact versus righty, making a maxed out contact versus right without any parallels. Uh, and then getting him to 109 contact versus lefties. Uh, the clutch would also go up plus five, so 113 there. And if you used it at tier three, I mean, you're going to get that contact versus lefties up to 113 without any parallels. His clutch up to 119, so it just depends on what you want to do with that. Uh, the, like I said, the only thing really lacking is that power against lefties, but that's not bad. 82 is not bad, especially get him higher in the parallels. You know, can get him up to 80, all the way up to 87 without, or with, you know, without any boost because he's not going to get a power boost, but... Yeah, I mean, this card is insane. I, I'm definitely going to... This is a card, as long as he has a good swing, which I'm really hoping he does, he will be in my lineup. Um, and then, last but not least, like I said, they dropped a another chase pack. Uh, and it's a 98 overall silver slugger, Ozzy Albies. 83-93 versus right. 125-103 versus left. 114 clutch. So the only thing he's really lacking is that contact against righties. However, we know if we use the Aaron... Uh, not the Arenado, but the um santana boost we can boost that contact either plus eight or plus 12 depending what tier you're using against righties um you know if you get it to plus 12 right there that's going to be 95 93 if you get it plus eight it's going to be 91 93 still not bad at all uh you know we can get the clutch almost damn near to 
125 at tier three or almost at 120 at tier two at tier two so great fielding as well 84 83 arm uh you know not 83 arm but 83 speed i should say his arm is very bad at 64 but 83 speed i mean ozzy albies another card right there switch hitter could be in the thing the only thing i personally dislike a lot about ozzy albies is the fact that he has a very big leg kick it can get kind of distracting I mean, if you can get past that, he can be a very damn good card for you. Last one I forgot to talk about was the Season Award 6 drop. We'll start off with the uh, lower overall cards. 93 overall Patrick Bailey. Now, if you've been watching the last few videos, I've been using a Supercharged Bailey, and you know I absolutely love his swing. However, this card is quite a bit, you know, less with the hitting, okay? So 101, 85 versus right, 90, 72 versus left, 100 clutch. That's just, you know, even if I got the boost, we could we can make him good with the contact numbers for sure boosting his uh you know boosting him up tier two or tier three however uh that hundred not the hundred but the 72 power is pretty weak for sure so i don't like that about the card if it had more power at least in the 80s versus lefties definitely a card i'd consider using as you know how much i love the swing and uh next 93 overall nolan gorman uh, 86 115 105 125 absolutely insane 105 clutch Gonna get you a Kershaw boost. No Arenado boost can also get you the Buxton boost as well. So you're gonna be able to max out that power, get some contact numbers up if you you know use that Kershaw boost along with the Buxton boost. Very good 93 overall card in my opinion. Pete Alonso, uh, 80, 107, 67, 120 versus left, 71 vision, no Buxton, 82 clutch, not good at all there. 75 fielding, uh, 38 speed. So Arenado boost for sure can get, um, but no Kershaw. Obviously, he's not a switch hitter, so no Santana. Okay, Quirks. Not a good 93 overall compared to what the Nolan Gorman card is. Uh, Max Freed, 96 overall, starting pitcher, four seam, 12 6, circle change, sinker, slider. Uh, not a bad combo at all. Pretty damn good pitch control, as you can see. 99 on the four seam, 95 on the 12 6. Circle change is at 92, and then the sinker is at 93 with 85 on the slider. Uh, pitch break 60 at the four seam 12 6 at 99 circle changes at 83 sinkers at 88 and the sliders at 86 so not bad at all there uh, and then with that being said i mean again a guy that is for sure gonna get you a kershaw boost you put him in the rotation 101 hit per nine 82k per nine is kind of low 102 clutch is not bad either so you know definitely a card that can be considered for the rotation especially again he gives you the kershaw boost but i don't know if i would tread that way just because he doesn't have anything overpowered. And then last but not least is 96 overall Nick Senzel. He had four bombs in a three-game stretch. He looks pretty good. Third base primary and plays second, short, left, center, and right. Uh, 93, 91 versus right, but he's 125, 115 versus left. Absolute lefty killer for sure. 125 clutch is also very nice to see. Uh, 75 vision, so no Buxton, and 75 speed, no Arenado. Not a switch hitter, of course, and he is not a lefty. Doesn't throw lefty or hit lefty, so he's not going to give you the Kershaw boost. But, again, not a bad card for a 96 for sure. Uh, you know, kind of reminds me of the uh, Nick Castellanos, right? Absolute lefty killer and holds his own against righties. But, last but not least, has a re has really good clutch. And he can play a lot of different positions as opposed to Castellanos really can't. Uh, so, that's also nice to see as well. So, definitely a guy that I could see cracking the lineup or, you know, being... Uh, a platoon guy where you use them only against lefties. So nicely done there with this card right here. Last but not least, they added new uh, new Derek Jeter. Last but not least, they added new storylines for the Derek Jeter storylines. And that came with a new legend, CC Sabathia. Once you get to the 2006, you do the little side moment and you're gonna end up with that core CC Sabathia. I can't really see what the overall and all that is, but it looks like maybe a diamond card, who knows? However, we know now CC Sabathia is in the game, so he's definitely going to end up having a good card at some point in the year. And that is going to wrap it up for all the cards and content that just dropped today. This is the last content drop before 99s come out, and I think they did a really good job of it. Uh, I think I would give this content drop definitely an A, especially adding that season awards choice pack in the, the season six awards drop, or sorry, program. Um, I think this is a a to a plus uh content drop for sure anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already turn those notifications on leave a like on the video and in the comment section below let me know what you thought about today's content drop and if you think you any of these cards are going to be cracking your lineup all right thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one love y'all